Earlier this afternoon, Inkster police responded to reports of uh, two subjects uh, unresponsive uh, at a location on William Street. Uh, upon arrival, uh, we discovered that uh, two males uh, were deceased inside of a home. Uh, we are currently investigating, uh, trying to determine what the cause of death would, was going to be and uh, checking with uh, witnesses and neighbors and uh, treating it as a uh, uh, homicide at this time, or double homicide at this time. Uh, we are uh, working uh, with Michigan State Police. Our investigators and their investigators are on scene. The Michigan State Police Crime Lab uh, is en route at this time, and we will uh, better know uh, what we have after they get in and, and have an opportunity to really examine the crime scene. Chief, do you know the identity of these two and what the relationship is? Uh, I have a, uh, we have a male in his 30s and a male in his 20s. Uh, we do not know the relationship as of this time. Uh, there are some family members of one of the individuals uh, on scene and we're talking with them and uh, uh, just trying to make sense of, of this uh, senseless situation. And, and it's just uh, unfortunate that during the holiday season that, that this type of thing has to happen. And, and it's going to continue to happen until members of the community and, and members of law enforcement get together and work together to stop this violence in the communities. It absolutely makes no sense that this is happening. And uh, you, know, you know, right now, all of these resources are here. We'll find out who did it. We will, we will get who did this. But we need to stop it from happening again. And it takes people to speak up. If you see something, say something. You're, you're frustrated. I am frustrated. I'm frustrated because this is a great community and it's unfortunate that, that people lose their lives senselessly like this. And, and, and we have very little, if any, cooperation from witnesses or citizens who we know know things. If you see something, if you know something, say something. This could be your family member next. This could be your cousin, your brother, your sister, your mother. One of your family members could be next. And until we get together and start working together on this issue, it's going to continue to happen. The police cannot do this alone. Just with just, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Chief, do you know if the two individuals live in the immediate area? Uh, I'm not going to talk about that right now, only because I, I want to be sensitive to, to the ongoing investigation and, and what what we do know and what we, we're trying to put together. Uh, I don't want to release a whole lot as it, as it relates to that, but this, this again is just really senseless. Were these shots, and how many shots uh, were there? Were there I, I'm, I'm not going to talk about that either, simply because uh, there's, there's an ongoing investigation here, and, and with uh, the sensitivity to, to what what we know and what, what's happening inside the house needs to stay confidential until we get a little further into it. Were these two on your radar? I can't answer that. Is this, could this have happened overnight and you guys found them this morning or it just happened? Uh, family members contacted us after not, uh, after not hearing from them and uh, a family member uh, located the individuals in the home. Anything else that uh, you want to add? That maybe... Again, if you see something, say something. This is a, a problem that's plaguing our nation, that's plaguing our state, specifically plaguing you know, urban areas and cities like you know, the city of Inkster, city of Detroit. We're, we go through this over and over and over again, and we say the same thing over and over and over. We need the cooperation of the people in the community to do our jobs. You have to be willing to help us if you want us to help us, if, we, if you want us to help you. And, and you know, the stop snitching and, and all of the other things that continue to, to, to be, you know, circulated through the neighborhoods and, and, and you know, through, through each other, all the kids talking back and forth. It, it's just a, a, a climate that has to change. It has to change. 